this week on the grind, we head to northern South Dakota, where producer Sean is stacked up with mallards. I yearn for a place to call my own. I'm going home. what you will. I'll be better for it still. I've been wondering what you're doing with your The Grind Waterfowl TV is brought to you by Dakota Decoy. Premium gunning decoys for demanding hunters. Lucky Duck, masters of deception. Kent Cartridge, quality matters and performance counts. Mud Buddy, the king of mud motors. Excel, the boat to own. Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy, the most accessible online retriever training program. Yoder Smokers, handcrafted in the heartland. Sitka Gear, turning clothing into gear. Rig'em Right Waterfowl, the industry leader in specialty waterfowl products. On X Hunt, know where you stand. Benelli. Simply perfect. Cowboys Wild Game Washer, as clean as you can get them. And these fine sponsors. This segment is brought to you by Dakota Decoy. Well, Max, Sean got me back up here. We're up in their stomping grounds in northern South Dakota. Uh, it's our first afternoon. We're going to run do about a four day stretch here. Um, it's been a weird year. The Canadian border was closed, uh, so we didn't get up to Canada. So we're kind of scrambling here all of a sudden, but uh, we had a big snowstorm come through here about three weeks ago, and everyone got worried that it might be over with, but uh, it's just getting started. So they're still killing birds in North Dakota. The boys found a big duck feed, I guess, today. So I don't know, I just got here, but up on top of a hill, uh, Birds have been coming out late, but it's cloudy today, so hopefully they move a little bit earlier and get rolling here and shoot some mallards. Oh yeah, there, got a group up. They're coming right at us. Yeah, All right, we're, yeah we're gonna get a swing here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's okay. Yep, here they come. I've only found one drake there. It's a good start. I think I've been here seven minutes. <laughs> we had our first little bunch of ducks in. Oh, yep. Here we go. Here. Oh, yeah. These are going to do it dirty here. here. Come here, Hank. Here. Get him. <laughs> uh, time means everything. <laughs> Hank. Yeah, I shot a really scrubby. Drink. Oh, there's more getting up. <laughs> yes. Good. <laughs> I'm two for two. <laughs> Having a little tough time from Drake's hands. I got here. I literally climbed in my blind. Um, here's a nice new bunch coming. Climbing the blind, we've had two good volleys already. Yeah, welcome back to northern South Dakota. I love it up here. I love field mallards. Hey, another group from my <laughs> 
new bunch coming. <laughs> Pick some birds up. Hey. Yeah, it's not like they're gonna leave. Hey. Oh, there's birds. He's not getting out to the, There's a crip out there, but he's not getting to it. <laughs> Heel. Hank. We were only 10 minutes into the hunt, and we already had a couple of good goes. The skies were getting dark quick, so the birds should only feed harder. New bunch coming hot. <laughs> Of course, they're here. Why couldn't they be green? This segment is brought to you by Lucky Duck Premium Decoys. Ducks are acting just a little goofy. There's, we got a good wind and just no sun. Gray day ducks. There are a lot of them. They're, they're, the first pass, they're just almost perfect. Then they side swooping us a little bit, and then each pass they get a little higher. Need a little sun to blind them. Here we go. Here we go. You, what would you think about the spin? How old do we want them like right on us? It's like they're getting to the edge of where the spinners are and then banking out. Yeah. Yep. Hey, we got ducks out front, new group. Try one more bunch and then do a quick move. Okay. Try one more. Okay. Come on. Do it the first time. Widgeon. Yup. Shoot that single drake right there. Hank, did you see those two widgeon right in the hole? Were they? Yeah, they were pretty. There's another crippled. Here. Yep. I didn't see that. Hank. Well, right now we're moving the spinners in. The ducks are kind of bouncing off of them. And we're going to try some. Hopefully it looks a little different. So, see what happens. I love field mallards. If we just had just a little bit of sun, it'd be perfect. We got lots of big, nice bunches coming. Good. Good. Okay. It seems like it's not going very well, but we're down to only needing about six or seven birds. Uh, we just lost lost our, well, they, we didn't have any sun. I say we because I got here about two minutes before shooting time, but uh, awesome feed right on top of this hill not too far off the big lake. And the ducks are coming in droves. <laughs> the pair's coming. Kill him. Oh! You lined that up. He waited for it too. Oh. Hey. I can serve ammo. Nice. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Hey, here, here, here. Hey, we got it. Yep. That was pretty cool. Then just calling me out, we had a pair. They've been acting goofy. We had a bunch of birds circling the field down here. So we thought if we took a single or a pair, it might get the other birds out of the field, which it didn't. But there was a perfect little crossing shot there. and I got them both. Finn, we're good on time, right? Finn, we're good on time? Okay.
Hey. Awesome hunt, boys. And that's game. We're just finishing up here. Um, I think I've been in this field maybe an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, it was a great start to our northern South Dakota swing here. The guys found this huge mallard feed. Um, there's a little staging pond there, coming off big water, hitting the staging pond, then hopping up into this field. And I hadn't been here, I know I hadn't been here 10 minutes, and the first bunch came. And the first two bunches were absolutely perfect. And then with no sun, they got a little squirrely, but uh, the ducks we were killing were perfect. They were right, right out in front of us. I, I needed two drakes. Two drakes came in, Finn called me out. I was, I'd like to say I was waiting for him to bunch up, but I was kind of waiting to shoot over, so I wasn't shooting right over the top of Hank. I let him get a little behind me, and they crossed just perfectly, and I dropped them both. So a true double. That's a good way to end the day. The next step on Violet's journey is to build her foundation by developing her natural retrieving drive. For Violet to reach her potential, her natural ability and drive will need to be refined. In fact, there's a lot that needs to be sharpened up. Violet would run around, she would play with a bumper, and really, she was just rough around the edges. Sometimes she would drop it at my feet or just wouldn't bring it all the way back. I'll be honest with you, this part of the training was extremely frustrating, but it was also a chance to really take one of the valuable lessons you learn while training a retriever, which is never give up and push through the problems to find success. So to fix the problem, we picked up some tools from the CGA store and we started the fetch, hold, and release process as outlined in phase two of 52 plus. Day by day, we worked on refining Violet's raw retrieving potential. As we continued, Violet learned to retrieve in a way that we wanted her to, a way that was stylish and precise. With that said, as Violet progressed, she would try to push the boundaries. Violet. So we would have to correct her and reinforce what we already yeah. taught her. I had no, 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 no. As you can Violet. see here, the corrections worked very well. Good girl, good girl. In the next episode, see how Violet navigates new challenges on the road to becoming a waterfowl retriever. This segment is brought to you by Mud Buddy and Excel Boats. Well, we are on day two on our Northeast South Dakota hunt. We found this, it's pretty good size, up here they call them ponds, to me it looks like a lake, but uh, the birds are kind of staging here uh, and then bopping to the field, coming back from the field to the water. So right now we're just trying to find a spot to hunt it. It's uh, a little deeper than we thought. So we found one little point. We're gonna kind of have a cross shot. It's almost like a timber hunt. Um, we're gonna put four dozen Dakotas out and probably two or three HDs, Luckies, and see if we can't pull. I don't think we'll get mobs of ducks into us, but I think it looks to me like a pretty ducky spot. I think we'll get ones and twos, maybe a little bunch of ten or something like that, but uh, we'll be standing in the trees. We had about 45 minutes till shooting time. Uh, pretty easy setup. We're only putting four dozen decoys out, but uh, we're going to get set up. Day two, South Dakota. Day two was what Sean was most excited about. In 2019, South Dakota saw horrific flooding, and a lot of that water was still present in the fall of 2020, and the ducks loved it. I love these new rigging rights. Uh, Matthew's changed the design a little bit. It's gone to kind of a pyramid, but if you're getting some wind or some current, this thing's pretty cool. It won't pull through the mud or the sand quite like that old original ball will, so really cool. The hunt was a small patch of flooded trees and cattails on the edge of a bigger slough, and the ducks were feeding in the field behind it. The goal is to run traffic between the roost and the feed, catching birds needing a drink of water on their way back and forth. Single right here. Shoot him, guys. There you go. Hank. Good boy. Good boy here. Good dog. Ducks coming in from the right. Ducks on the right. Coming this way. <laughs> yep, yep. Here's, yep, well. 
Get him, guys. Good shot. Hank. Shoot him again. Shoot him again. There you go. Good shot. Good shot. I couldn't tell at first if he was a Drake, but then I heard him buzz. Yeah. And so, it was good. Boy. Boy. Good. Good dog. Good dog. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Right about that cotton move. <laughs> oh, there you go. Nice. Hank. Thought he was dead, but. How many limbs am I going to blow off when I shoot? <laughs> <laughs> My money's on the dog. <laughs> there it is. Oh. That's a lot of ducks. Oh, yeah, there they are. Let's get these ducks quick. Oh, yep. Oh, the... man. Jeez. This segment is brought to you by Kent Cartridge. Pretty cool, a little South Dakota timber hunt. These Minnesota boys are blowing some trees up over here. <laughs> Holding the respect for the Arkansas boys. Wish that mob would have come 10 minutes later. Two out front, two out front. And did it even? Good shot. Hank. You shooting hens? Big hen killer today. <laughs> <laughs> you got a hen gauge? <laughs> the sun wasn't even above the horizon, and it was already great hunting. Once that sun got on the decoys and gave us shadows to hide in, it should only get better. Here they come, here they come. Hank. Good shot. That was a good shot. Hope he's banded. These guys are hunting that field. These guys are hunting that field. Oh, Hank's dragging a decoy. Oh, come on, good. Water dog. Oh, yep. <laughs> Couple of hands, but Their hands. I don't want Bill to make fun I... of me again. I was going to call Finn out, see if he could hit a brown one. <laughs> Ethan. Kill him. Kill him. Nice. Good nice. shot. Good shot, Thank guys. Oh. Very nice. I thought it was a hen at first. Hang I was on. like, I heard him. I'm like, where is he? Yeah, you? I thought it was him. <laughs> Morning shot. Good boy. Man, they are pretty ducks. Those are nice looking ones. They're fully plumaged. Oh. Fun so far. We've got uh, kind of a north wind. There's a little crosswind on us, so they're sliding a little. They want to kind of slide out to the open water, but boy, the ones we're getting are just perfect. A little South Dakota timber hunt. Three, four out front. 
coming towards us. Front and center. These two, these two, these two. Get him. Oh, shoot that. Shoot that one on the water. Nice. How about that, a far one, Finn? Can you oh, get him? Got it. You got a dead one over here too, don't you? Oh, I see him. Okay. Good shooting, fellas. That was cool. That was pretty neat. The sun was out and the big orange feet were glowing. Here, Hank. Here. Hank. Oh, that was an easy one there. Here. <laughs> yeah, there was three, I believe. Good. Oh yeah. Back. Hank. Good shoot. That was good shooting. Those got in good. Those got in real good there. Next week on the grind, we finish our South Dakota water hunt, then head to the mother of all duck feeds.